Hey Techno Studs, in this video we're going to take a look at the DHCP process and those packets that go back and forth between the DHCP server and the client machine. So we're going to take a look through Wireshark. Now the DHCP packets start traversing this network as soon as you plug in the device. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up Wireshark and I'm going to monitor what I've got is the Ethernet plug unplugged from the device. I'm going to monitor the Ethernet and then I'm going to plug this in and see what, uh, what, what we capture. All right, I plugged this machine back in. It generated a lot of packets and then I've stopped the capture. So let's take a look at what we have. So I looked through here and what we're looking for are these DHCP, the one with the protocol that says DHCP and that's associated with the IP version four. So uh, I can see that this is a DHCP uh, request right here. Um, let's go ahead and just sort by this protocol so we group them all together. We can see it actually makes several requests and it's not until we get down to this discovery where we actually see that process that I've been talking about where there is a discovery, then there's an offer, then a request, and then acknowledgement. So let's take a look what's happening here. These other ones, it looks like what to me is that it's asking for that same IP address and for some reason the server is not responding back. And so then we get to this re this discovery right here. Now it's making a call out. And uh, this is what lines up with what we've been talking about. So I see the source is 0.0.0.0. .0 so that means it's just unspecified. It doesn't know an IP address. It doesn't have an IP address yet. So that makes sense. And then if the destination is 255.255.255.255. So that is a broadcast. It's going out to all the devices on the network looking for that DHCP server. So I can open up the layer two and I see that the layer two is all Fs. So that lines up with that broadcast. It lines up with what we saw with the IP address. And then we see the source is the MAC address of the Dell machine. That's the the demo laptop. And so that lines up as well. I mean, it knows its own MAC address, so why not use its own MAC address? And we see that it, the source port is 68 and the destination port, port is 67. All right, all things that we talked about before. We get a response back from the demo Pi. Its IP address is 10.1.0.3. And we can see the MAC address in there is the demo Pi's MAC address. So that makes sense. And it's going directly to 10.1.0.150. It's offering that out. And so, uh, and it's going to the destination of the Dell saying this is, this is an IP address that's available to you. And then uh, we see, and of course we've got the source port of 67 and destination port of 68. So uh, then we click on the request and the request is uh, once again being sent from 0.0.0.0, .0 and being broadcasted out to all the other devices, broadcast out to all the other devices so that if there were multiple offers, then it then all of those DHCP servers would know that it's accepted this particular one. And uh, we see that the destination broad, uh, the destination layer two is a broadcast, all Fs, that makes sense. And the MAC address is of the machine, so that makes sense. And source port 68, 67, destination port of 67. So all of that lines up, it's just toggling between those two different ports. And then we get down to the DHCP acknowledgement. And so the DHCP acknowledgement is being sent from, uh, the, from the demo pie and it's being sent directly to the demo laptop. And it's using the, on, from layer two perspectives, those MAC addresses and once again, source port. Uh, is 67 and destination port is 68. And then within the DHCP uh, options down here below, we see the information that we have uh, that addresses things like lease time and the subnet, we see subnet mask in here and the DHCP identifier, that's the server that it's coming from. So we see all of that information that's being sent out within the, within the uh, payload of this DHCP uh, notifications there. So there you ha have it. It's a four-step process of being sent back and forth to get this DHCP address.
Let's also take a quick glance at the DHCP version six. So we scrolled down. It looks like there's some similar uh, activity that's happening. So we'll jump to this one right here, which is going from the, the Dell machine. I know it's the Dell machine because the source MAC address is the MAC address of the Dell machine. So we see that right there. And it's going to the destination of this multicast address. So we see the multicast address in both the layer two and the layer three. So the multicast address here. And it's going to, uh, it's, it's coming from the layer three link local address. So we see the layer three link local address of the demo laptop. And it is then getting responded back to here in this packet 182. And in that one, it's coming from the link local address of the demo uh, pi and going to the link local address of the demo laptop. And if we look at the layer two, so once again, we see the source MAC address of the demo Pi and the destination MAC address of the demo laptop. All right, and then uh, we see a reply back and the reply back coming from the demo, demo laptop to the demo Pi and that is coming from the link local address of the demo uh, at laptop and going to the broadcast address, or excuse me, not the broadcast, but the multicast address, just like before. And then we see a reply back from the demo pi coming from the link local address of the demo pi and going to the link local address of the demo laptop. So it's a very similar back and forth as we saw with DHCP, uh, the one associated with version four. Hope these videos are helping you out. If they are, can you help me out by hitting that like button?